it's already 7 o'clock, later and Dylan Alba will die Dylan Alba, pilot for Eastern Airline and heir apparent to the Alba Consortium was just a stranger I saw on the news every so often before today, but now you must save Dylan, or you'll die ever since I've been this strong voice in my head excuse me, could you go a little faster, please? Miss, moving too fast can be hazardous that's Dylan's car sir, call an ambulance okay Dylan Albu are you okay? Can you hear me? Dylan, you can't die, do you hear me? The car's about to explode who, who are you great? You're finally awake I'm Wendy he's stable, but the CT scan indicates that after he wakes up, he'll suffer from partial amnesia inspect the heir apparent to the Alba fortune is too handsome for his own. Good water wait lemme get you some I have to get him some water my life depends on it you're awake, sorry, it was an accident dilly dilly, are you okay? You scared me half to death how was I going to explain it to our mother? Who are you? The butler to the Alba family, Mr. Lee what's going on here? A butler? What butler? What's going I can't remember anything? Please be patient, Dilly, I'll go find the doctor so, who are you, really? I guess he really does have amnesia I am you need to remain by his side, or you'll be dead quick I'm your girlfriend. My girlfriend shouldn't f one half f micro have figured something out so, during the accident, I think you pulled me from the car I do typically like a, girl like this really? Whoa my hubby remembers me I'm so happy hubby? Is that what you call me? Hey hey, yes, that's right I have no recollection of when we were wed I we're dating in secret your friends and family don't even know me is that so lub dub, lub dub, is he gonna kiss me? Well, that you just woke up you should get some rest also it's something I need Dylan, I'm here excuse me, who are you? I'm Dylan's girlfriend who the hell are you? Why are you in Dylan's room? Stephanie Holt Freddy Holt, her further the hot goss is that Dylan is single is it unrequited love? Am I gonna get slapped in the face now? F three quarters F one half? You said that you're my girlfriend, but I already have one wait, what did you say? Was, she just the first to get here? This is my girlfriend let's get my bearings well, yes. I am she wants what I want be as elegant as possible why are you impersonating me? I just know what are you thinking of I am your real girlfriend she saw that you have amnesia and took the chance to get her hands on Alba family property don't listen to a word she says the Alba property, so that's why you are impersonating f one quarter f micro cut her off at the pass don't you twist my words you say that I want his family's estate do you have any proof? I thought you were putting on a good act. But I didn't know you saw everything so clearly I was just diagnosed with amnesia, and you know it already you read newspaper quickly well, yeah, I'm actually pursuing Dylan I yes, we all think that you and our Stephanie are a good match don't give that girl an inch I have no insidious intentions whatsoever I just want to save my life one day, he will get his memories back, and I must tell him before that without a second thought. You just pretend to be my girlfriend because you know I have amnesia, right? Their story is full of holes don't they rehearse before trying to catfish someone, Dylan, this is all a misunderstanding Stephanie heard that you were in a serious collision and wanted, to watch over you but were afraid we don't have the standing, so this is awful my girlfriend doesn't want to see you our leave we're so sorry, Dylan we'll go I fooled him as well maybe one day he'll find out what are you thinking about? Your eyebrows are really furrowed Dylan, I sincere I am with you, not because I want to harm you or because I want your family's fortune so so, please believe me ok? Whether I get to live depends on what you say, although I have amnesia, I do remember you risking your life to save me from that accident, so I do I actually got close to Dylan Alba but that silly interrupted me I'm furious that girl's story won't stand up to scrutiny one bit although young she isn't that simple it's better that I didn't, catch her or I've ruined her. Ding, ding, ding come out re I got the lawyer's business card and bill for ya it's time to collect tween manor I'm back those that didn't want to see me have to meet with me again today, all that you owe me and my family, let's get it worked out the miss is here. I'll go tell the master it's okay miss Wang let him finish first nine years ago Mr. Ween. 
The preliminary diagnoses of your two sons indicate that they both have mental issues it's an issue that manifests genetically the Ween family has no history of mental illness it must be because of you knee look at what you've done you've given birth to two deficient sons Wendy's mother Sherry the Ween family can't lose its respect leave now and take those three with you my past life imprisoned me. A lot I never spoke up to collect what's owed from that man who abandoned his family I ultimately couldn't afford to go to college and had to work in a bar singing that's even better, Aurelius Marco and Timmy are the only two stains in my life Chopin's Polonaise in G minor, only better than when my brother Timmy played it at four by a bit Wendy's father Wallace Ween Wendy's stepmother Sybil Ween Wendy's half-sister. Lucy Joe don't compare me to somebody who can't even talk Wendy's half-brother Aurelius Ween if it were up to me, I would rather be a genius and have a mental illness than be mediocre like you after all, mental illnesses can be dealt with, but being mediocre perennial. Ori is still young and nain, how can someone as mature as you be so frank with a young child? Children don't know anything and learn from adults it seems that you often talk about mental illnesses you smell like gunpowder and have never had an education leave I don't want to see you nor do I here today to make a clean break with you I made a clean break with you a long time ago what do you want? It seems that you've forgotten, Mr. Ween Remy and you forced my mother out of the house for the next nine years. You completely ignored your three children and didn't pay a dime of support calculated it for you this bill totals two million, which you owe us Wendy you are quite asserted two million? Do you think your father's money grows on trees? Your ex-husband is a deadbeat and doesn't pay alimony, but my father's different he's rich besides, if I take his money, what do you have to do with it? Remember your place before opening your mouth you're incorrigible did your mother teach you to be this rude to your elders? My mother is gentle and has character, but I've grown up to be more savage besides, I'm only 19 outspoken and ignorant Auntie Sybil won't mind that, right? I say one thing, and you drown me out with a diatribe it's quite rude why do you only call me father when demanding money? You don't understand causality you abandoned us first. So how are you my father? I want to say my piece will you give me a chance, Mr. Ween? Two million? Don't even think about it not a penny if Mr. Ween has any comments, contact my lawyer I don't mind to cause a fuss and take this to court. We were happy here when we played we were really, really happy that was probably the last time Wendy what? I came to say that I don't think you should talk to Uncle Wallace like that he's your father. And you're an adult now you can make money all on your own Nindy, here's 5000 you can go and find a job I believe you're very independent and can rely on yourself, so you don't need to rely on others ha, huh? she's got some real insights there I must have been out of my mind in my previous life, so I would believe in those words she just spewed and never asked that man for money my two brothers and I are my father's biological children asking for his money is justified people who really do want to be independent and respect themselves, should be. You, right? Haven't you woken up yet? After all, you're not part of that family, so aren't you embarrassed spending my father's money? Wendy, I'm only looking out for you why are you so aggress all of a sudden? You've changed take care of yourself before everything else don't get up in business that isn't yours, and don't pretend to be kind to my face, got it? You really don't know what kindness is just you wait and see boo hook caps, I've been your co-pilot for three years how can you say you don't recognize me? Flight attendant Tammy co-pilot Elliot this is terrible I've been your flight attendant and you are it remember? Caps seems colder how can we go on living sorry, you can't enter is she in the wrong room actually, I am she is my girlfriend why can't she come in come here. Um Geeston Airlines first workaholic, who used to say his planes were his girlfriends, Captain Alba, who has no hobbies, when'd he get a girlfriend, he kept that secret so well this is some big news if the female staff who admire the captain found out, I fear that all of the Eastern Airline would be flooded in tears where'd you go? to take care of something I got a new phone and number, so save your number older phone must have been burned up at the accident site that's good, otherwise I wouldn't be able to explain why we haven't communicated before here, it's saved from now on you're going so I can find you when I wake up is he getting close nth 3 quarters f 1 quarter f micro? Okay, I will well, 
It's not that the can isn't warm, it's just that he isn't warm with me my heart is getting hurt I'm here can, Director Douglas from the far is coming Captain Alba, I'm here to perform some basic theoretical tests and physiological checks to determine if you are eligible to fly now that you've recovered. Ok so, do you remember that the Eastern Airline has a policy that captains must not drink a few hours before their flights? Difficult for you? It used to be 8 hours, but it was changed to 12 hours 2 years ago how much training do you need to become a CNIL Aviation Captain? This one's hard 250 hours of flight academy courses, 2700 flight hours as a co-pilot Captain Alba, Please explain what the Mach number indicates similar to velocity Mach refers to the ratio of airplane speed to the speed of sound in the local atmosphere Mach 1.6 means that the aircraft is 1.6 times the local speed of sound are you serious? These are questions that even layman would know would an ordinary person know? I don't know Captain Alba's theoretical knowledge is still quite solid next, we will do a low temperature tolerance test please come to the bathroom with me. Captain Alba bathroom hold come inside with me why do you want me to go in there? Here to keep Captain S head wound from getting wet please help him put on the shower cap eth 3 quarters eth 1 half, nf eth micro eth degrees eth 1 half, got it help me control the fridge temperature, and I'll take care of the time bump bump ok, director so do we wait? I don't have anything better to do today the perfect eth 3 quarters eth 1 half, NF eth micro eth degrees eth one half unbutton you've seen my body before, right? Haven't made it that far yet then, how long have we in relationship? And how far we go now? One year we've only held hands only held hands for a year? B because I'm 19 and still a student, you're a gentleman, so how many lies do I have to tell? 19 then how'd we meet? Well last summer, it was raining and I was walking down a small path you were in a car and didn't slow down over the puddles the water splashed all over me so I yelled at you that's how we met he isn't saying anything for you did he notice there are holes in my story? got it then wait for me outside hubby our relationship is still a secret I guess that no one actually believes we're together, but you said you believe me so please believe me, ok? You don't need to worry about that yes I believe you only you I'm awful for making him believe me because, I'm the only one who has been lying to him right, I want to go home and won't wait for you to finish your test time going to apply for the college tomorrow, so I might not be here rest upright got it well, I'll tell them to come in yeah, be safe there is always that day when a lie will be exposed I just hope I can find another way to tell before that happens then, I can tell him the truth, and leave him. Would you ask if we can start? I don't care I still have a lot to learn for you do it why should I do it? A duo of seven lists we weren't eavesdropping or anything, we just if the can SS ready to begin his tests. He's ready you can go and look at that she's so pretty she's even prettier than Tiffany at Eastern Airlines even a girl likes her I should keep my distance from Dylan, because if what happened today continues to happen. I'll fall hey macro hurry up it won't have computers if we are late coming what are you yelling about? This is my brother, Mark Owen he's suffering from PTSD after Tommy was diagnosed with autism, Wallace chastised him every day, which caused Tommy's autism to get even worse and Marco became exhibiting signs of PTSD it only takes something small for him to lose control of his emotions in my previous life. When Marco was 18, he took out someone to protect Tommy and went to jail for it. Now, my brother is finally standing right here in front of me once again. It's so great, stop here, you're you can't go to an internet cafe. Ah, uh, Marco, your sister is strict with you. It looks like the big boy on campus is afraid of his sister. I can't be challenged even by my sister. Don't worry about her. Let's go if you wanna go to an internet cafe. You'll have to get through me, first, Wendy. What in the world are you doing? Boy what bees in her bonnet? Yeah, our Marco's masculinity is in jeopardy but his sister seems weak stop it get out of the way where did she learn to do that? That was such a slick move Marco's sister is merciless up to him knock her down, boys so, if Marco acts out in any violent way, you'll stop him for me, won't you? Naughty little brother if you can't do it. Call me right away let's go we're going to re-dye your hair the next time you want to dye your hair something like that, 
No your sister will knew a taste of what happened today sis, why do you have to embarrass me? I'm the man at our school, and all my friends are here what did you say? Wanna dye your hair? Yes, yes, we'll listen to Wendy my image as a tough guy is over. Putting on BB cream and lipstick is it too much? Uncomfortable there is an interview for the Central Conservatory of Music, which Lucy will definitely dress up for, that Boza, but I'll make you the most attractive one Wendy's best friend, yet a lake Wendy. Instead of working she's here to apply for Central Wendy she's dressed up for that are you wearing makeup today, Wendy? Students aren't allowed to wear makeup, even though the college entrance examination is over Lucy. Don't be a fool you've worn makeup every day for the past three years a man may not notice, but we can tell don't pretend to be a natural beauty BB cream in a eyeliner, a lash extensions nude pink lipstick I, I don't wear any makeup anyway, that's not why I'm here Wendy, two million is to it took a lot of coaxing before Uncle Ween agreed to give you fifty thousand take it and apologize to him. Then it'll be over all right, you're such a goody two shoes you think you are kind? You're giving me fifty thousand? And asking me to apologize? Wallace Ween spent two hundred thousand on a piano for you, a stepdaughter are you insulting Wendy with that money? Now leave with your money I'll teach you a lesson if you do that again Uncle Ween bought me a piano voluntarily I didn't ask him to do that Wendy, I think we're friends how can you blame me for that? We'll never be friends stop pretending to be a good person to me it makes me sick stay out of my business this is between my father and me what are you doing? Ian Jordan a year ago a love letter written by Wendy at Lucy's urging shyly fading away is that Wendy? I heard that she's crooked and indiscreet Ian Jordan looks good and has a great family background and education how dare she write him a love letter? Wendy she doesn't deserve me. My endlessly gloomy life Wendy coming down to earth, you ought to see the sun walk along the street, together with your sweetheart wow it's n tilde f 3 quarters f micro f 1 quarter you're the breeze and moon on the hill in February, illuminating my endlessly gloomy life she's so talented she should participate in the essay contest the letter is so cheesy isn't she embarrassed? I heard that Ian Jordan threw it in the bin without looking at it that's embarrassing I would hide if I were her she looks silly I like Lucy better, because she looks innocent how are you? Reach I'm fine don't blame Wendy she didn't do anything to me I'm no match for Lucy in front of Ian Jordan it turns out that she urged me to write the love letter, because she knew I would make a fool of myself I can only blame myself for being too ingenuous she shouldn't. Go to the Central Conservatory of Music she should enter the Central Drama Academy with such a good performance yet uh, let's go we should also leave Wendy Ian Jordan has a bad eye, as always aren't you angry? People have been laughing at you for an entire year because of the letter he's not worth my anger besides, I've moved on well for Mr Alba? What happened between you? Why are you his girlfriend now? The thing ones. I woke up one day and there was a voice in my head talking to me that's amazing then I saved him and he lost his memory so I if anyone asks, tell them that we are in love don't say anything else but then, you need to be prepared to be targeted by all the young women of note in the city it's quite exciting f squared f sedilla n tilde we'll never be truly in love I just want to change my destiny and foster my two younger brothers as for love. Interview of Central Conservatory of Music Backstage move over a little bit ok I see that you only applied for the Department of National Music at come you're so confident I have faith in you ha ha ha, I do have a lot of confidence the styling you did for me also helped a lot in my opinion, playing the lute is vulgar entering the Central Conservatory with it, she's such a dreamer she can play anyway, two of the three interviewers here aren't interested in folk music let me teach them a lesson just ignore them the interview is about to start we'd better practice a bit more, since we have time Wendy can't enter the college with me she can't go to college if she doesn't have any money right, I have to make her give up that two million well, I'm worried about Wendy she's been in a bad mood, recently two days ago, she made a scene at the Ween's house and insisted on asking Uncle Ween to give her two million and wasn't nice about it displeased don't get me wrong I'm not trying to say anything bad about her I'm just worried she'll burn that bridge with Uncle Ween for money.
She likes you so much can you persuade her for me she may hesitate if you advise her to give up the money that's her father asking for money is beyond reproach he's standing up for Wendy? That's be alitiful you played quite well I'm proud of you thanks, Uncle Ween Wallace Ween cares for his stepdaughter he always has don't be influenced he's always like that I'm used to it it's nothing Uncle Ween probably prepared flowers for you too don't worry ladies, gentlemen, and judges. My name is Wendy I'm going to perform ambush on all sides good, please start she looks so elegant, but her performance is so powerful Wendy, you continue to surprise me she performs so well that it moved me the timber is full, and the rhythm is also strong the girl is promising that's Dylan Alba when did he get here?